Hello everybody, my name is Thomas Schimpf with the Synchro team from Bentley. Today we're going to take a look at user fields and user field graphs. I was recently asked about tracking multiple costs for tasks or numerical values. Uh, so what we can use to do that is user fields. So if you go to project controls, you can see we have user fields and it'll open a user field window. We can simply create user fields by right clicking. We'll call this cost one. We have the option of task, resource, 3D, or resource group user fields. Today we'll do a task and we want it to be a number. We can select the color that we want on our graph and hit OK. Now we can copy this and create two other costs. Once you have your user fields created, we'll want to add them to our task list here. So customize columns. If we scroll down, we can see we have user fields here and we can add these to our task list. So now we have our costs added to our task list. We can input our information into the columns here. We can manually do that or we can export to Excel and do it that way as well. Once you have your cost populated in your tasks, we can turn on our user field graph. So as you can see here is we have our user fields graphs, cost one, two, three. So as we scroll through, you can see through the timeline identifies the cost per task. Now we can change this up instead of bar graphs, we could change this to cumulative unit graph simply by selecting that on each user field. So now you can see we have a cumulative graph that builds up as the tasks go on. We can also set a limit. So if we want a limit for each, use one of these as a limit, we can set that. You'd probably use that with the other bar graphs here. But as you can see is now it gives you a limit and you can see if you're over or under that limit.